Hi everybody, it's Sean from Our Vision Nomadic Living and welcome to the Ken's Lake Campground. Ken's Lake BLM Campground is located 8.3 miles south of Moab, Utah. Ken's Lake is comprised of two loops, the A loop, which has sites 1 through 38 in it, and the B loop, which has sites 39 through 48. So the Ken's Lake Campground is unique in that the A loop all 38 sites are reservable on the website recreation.gov or on the app rec.gov. So you can reserve your site if you're planning a vacation down here to the adventure capital of America ahead of time, up to six months. The maximum stay at the campground is 14 days. Sites 39 through 48 are first come first serve sites. Though the Loop A sites are all reserved and payable through the app or website, the sites up in the B Loop, you have two options to pay for them once you occupy the site. You can either fill out a, an envelope and feed that into the Iron Ranger, or you can do the scan and pay. There is a QR code on each one of the individual site's posts. Scan that with your phone, and then you can pay for the site via the app. So what do you get here at the Ken's Lake Campground? Or actually, what do you get at any of the BLM campgrounds in the Moab area? You get an individual picnic table in each site, and you get an individual fire ring. There are also vault toilets located in the campgrounds, and there's also garbage collection. Oh, there will either be one or several dumpsters located in the campground. What do you not get at a BLM campground here in Moab? Hookups. There is no water, no power, or any sewer available in any of the campgrounds. So plan accordingly. So what can you do once you get here to Ken's Lake? Well, Ken's Lake is named after its namesake, Ken's Lake. There is a lake just adjacent to the campground that's popular with anglers. Because it is popular with anglers, there is a day use area. Uh, and it's free uh, over by the lake. No camping in the day use area. There are several walking trails, including a walking trail up to the Faux Falls and a walking trail amongst these gorgeous red rocks that are right here next to the campground. And for you motor vehicle enthusiasts, there is the Steel Bender Safari Route or the Faux Fall Trails. So this campground is popular with ATVers and off-road bikers. If you're interested in one of the two or maybe even both of the group sites here in the Ken's Lake Campground, uh, those need to be reserved ahead of time again on the website recreation.gov or on the app rec.gov. So the Ken's Lake Campground is located a mere 13 miles from the visitor center and entrance of Arches National Park and I believe it's located 32 miles from the entrance of the Islands in the Sky Canyonlands National Park. A lot of activities to do here when you come to Moab. So what does this all cost? Well, each individual site is $20 a night. Holders of the Senior National Parks Pass or the Golden Age National Parks Pass or holders of the Access National Parks Pass are entitled to half off the camping fee, making it $10 a night versus the normal rate of $20 a night. 